All right. Good evening, everyone. So I've been uh, having dreams and I've been l listening to the song today. We're almost about ready, uh, but there are some things I feel doesn't work. But let's listen first and I'll tell you why. So my idea is that this song going to be, well, it has an intro for a, a few bars and then from bar 37. 15 seconds of the song has passed and when I'm done here I still have another 15 seconds we're thinking we're looking at about a two minute sequence and my goal here is to maybe add one more section and then it should loop from here again from bar 37 and then that's gonna be our game loop uh, however when we get to the uh, what I call this is the intro this is the A part. Uh, this is the B part. Uh, I feel the B part needs to be less busy when it comes to chords because we're doing a little cool thing with the arpeggios. But then we have a guitar solo and again I'm thinking maybe it's too much. It should maybe be even half of that uh, because I was uh, listening to um, Top Gun and how they did the guitar solo for Danger Zone and it's on like four bars or something so the guitar solo can be a lot less and if it's a lot less and it gets a little bit less repetitive uh, so we're gonna look at the guitar solo as well and then we have this kind of a breakdown happening here in the last section I still feel maybe we can make it a bit more cooler but let's listen. I feel like this arpeggio conflicts with this thing uh, and there's already a cool rhythm here so let's just start fixing this first I have a backup plan <laughs> let's first save this before I do anything stupid so um, when it comes to finding game music um, it should be a, a loop and I studied the streets of rage school of music just the other day and their loops are extremely small it's only one and a half minute and that thing loops all the way back to the beginning again uh, since I'm not sure which uh, sound engine we're using but I hope we're using F mod or something else and that means I can program in exactly where the loop points should go and then he uh, will put it into his program and just play back the sound so that's something I will have to talk to Mike about what sound engine are we using so uh, but I think there should be a standard in any kind of game engine to choose your audio okay 
now we're going to look at this uh, analog synth here and right now as I said it's just too busy here and if I just play a single it's just a arpeggio that's super fast but sounds very much like um, um, Fatboy Slim when he's doing this uh, uh, old school digital mix between samples and then he throws in this kind of a cool little arpeggio for the dust here but I just feel it's of course I love the Commodore 64 but I kind of feel that this kind of cheapens the track so let's find um, a cool synth brass or something stabby now we're talking Just to make it a bit more interesting, let's put a pad on under the guitar solo here. It's temporarily done. All right, I'm gonna try another t thesis of mine here. I'm gonna do like that. I'm gonna mute. position here. Let's try something else. Let's move these things away and put this one where it should be. <laughs> and let's unmute this part and let's see what happens. <laughs> How about we cut this thing in half? Again, let's let's do it like that. And let's cut this thing in half. And then we throw oh sorry. I'll throw this last part in it. Oops, my bad. Now we can throw it back in. <laughs> Got it. And now I would like to make the last 15 seconds um, Fault of 
Meyer thing going there. 